Priscilla, in your thoughts, do you think yeah. the debate made an impact on the general election itself? I think that the thing with these debates is really not so much on the votes. It's actually so much on the issues. And so I share in the concern that issues like health and water and, and youth and unemployment may not have come out as strongly as we would have wanted. But the thing with these debates is to sort of assure the country on the credibility, on the integrity, on the level of maturity of our democracy, and also of the leaders seeking office. Uh, but going forward, I think that uh, seeking the votes would still be based on the policies that each side is going to, to sort of bring up. So even in, 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 in international standards, it is not always that the debate sways the voters. It is that the debate allows a chance to see exactly who we are voting and then now you can make, your, you can make up your mind based on what you see and how the candidates engage. The only thing I liked about the, the media is also that there was cooperation between the media houses and the media council and so all the entire Kenyan media was actually together in, in, this, in this process. Yeah. But we are hoping that going forward uh, these debates then help to put real issues on the table. I think that's the main basis of, of the debate. Yeah. On this strategy of uh, saying I will not attend, I will attend, I will not attend, that's a strategy. It, it has its own benefits. Because what Regade did by saying he will not attend is to lower the expectations on his side. Then people expect you to underperform. Then you show up. It's, it's a bit like that Sakaja strategy. You say you, then you come in late, and then you. you so it's a strategy. Mm. <laughs> 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 you, you, know, you, 